What's up everybody, it's LogicBomb82 and today I'm going to show you how to set up a dedicated server for Outlaws of the Wild West, a survival western game that just came out on Steam a couple months back. You can pick it up on the Steam sale right now if you happen to be watching it just now uh, for $13.99. Let's get started here. This is going to be for Windows and this is for a dedicated server, so this is not hosting and playing on the same machine. Here we go. First thing you need to do if you don't have it is download Steam CMD. You can just Google Steam CMD like I did right here. It'll be your top link right here. Windows version. And right here's the download link. You can go ahead and download that. Hit save file. Okay. It'll download it. Then you need to extract it. I recommend that you extract it directly onto your C drive just so it's easy to find. So I've done that already, and you can see mine is on my C drive right here, Steam CMD. Create a, a folder called that if you need to, like I've done. And then you put the Steam CMD, you just download it in there, and then you want to double click on it and run it. It's going to download these files here and populate your folder just like mine did. Um, it may take a second, but once it's done, you'll come to a prompt just like this. What you need to type in is login anonymous like that, hit enter, it's going to log you in anom anonymously, now you need to type in app underscore update space and then the number for the server is 915070, it's going to show you, you're going to be downloading all these files, I've already done it so you didn't see it there, it'll download the whole game file and then once it's done it'll come back to a prompt like this, you can type in exit. So that is how you also update the server. So when there's a new update for the Outlaws game and they've updated the server client, you just run through those steps right there again and that will download the newest update. Okay, so once you have that done, go back to your Steam CMD folder that you created. You're gonna have a file called Steam Apps. Go into the common folder. See a folder here called Outlaws of the Old West Dedicated Server. Double click on that, <clears throat> and you're going to see these files minus my dot bat here. So you're going to need to make this dot bat, or um, I made it easy for everybody. You go to my website, sureMindedGamers.com. I'll put a link in the description of the video here. First thing you need to do is go to my YouTube channel. So just click YouTube right here, which you're already watching from, um, and you'll see this little button here called subscribe. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. It helps me out. And it's not going to hurt you at all, obviously. And then once you're subscribed to my channel, go back to the main page here, and you'll see I have a tab called Server Files. Click on that. These are all the dedicated server files that I have to make it easy on you. So I do Conan Exiles, Hellion, and Outlaws of the Old West right now. Click on the Outlaws. It's going to take you to my Dropbox. It's going to show you the text file. You don't have to create an account if you don't want to. So here's the dot .bat I made. So you can download this directly if you want, or you can just copy the text however you want to do it. It doesn't matter. I'm going to copy the text today. Download it if you want. Um, and then you want to go back to that folder that I showed you. Right-click in here and hit New Text Document. Then you want to name it whatever you want to make. And this is going to be the file that starts the whole server. So, Like I named mine here, start outlaw.bat. We'll just name this one Start so we don't get confused. And you need to make the end of it be dot .bat. Hit enter. It's going to ask if you sure you want to change it. Yes. Now, if it's still a text file, you need to go up here to proper or view, excuse me, and then put file name extensions. Put a check mark right there, like I have. And then when you edit the name like that, you'll delete because what will happen is your file will look like that. Have a dot text at the end. So you turn this on, and then when you do that. And you take out the dot t e x t e t the uh, t x t I can't talk and make it a dot bat just like that. Then it becomes a bat file. You want to right click and go edit. You're going to copy that text that you copied out off my Dropbox. So this is where you got to be careful right here. So this address right here is wherever you've um, installed server files. So if you did it just like I did and you created a folder on your C drive. You called it Steam CMD just like I did. But if you didn't, pay attention too. 
go to wherever your folder is where steam cmd wherever you put it go in there double click on it go into steam apps into common just like we did and then go into your outlaws folder now up here top of the search bar where it shows you where it is highlight all that right click and hit copy okay then what you're going to do is you're going to go right before the outlaw server.exe and go all the way to the parentheses you're going to delete that out and then paste whatever address you just copied in there the mine was the same obviously because I did that right and then you need to make sure there's a dash there then that is going to point right to your outlaw server.exe My, right there's the thing you want to point to so wherever this file is on your server you need to copy that address from up there put it in here and all the rest is fine um, it, the port here you need to have this open on your firewall or router uh, both these ports right here so your windows firewall you need to put in an exception for it and also your router firewall and that's different for everybody's machine um, depending on the router model I recommend you google it if you don't see your server in the server list this is most likely why you don't have your ports open correctly so keep trying to get that figured out it's it's difficult sometimes sometimes it's easy but it just depends on your router uh, your server name is going to be whatever you want the server name to be player counts however many players uh, there's PVE um, and PVP and there's PVP RP I believe right now are the different modes um, server password if you want it to be blank just delete everything out if you want a password in here just type in the password right there if you don't want it to prompt for a password just delete that out like that then your admin password is whatever you want the admin password to be obviously I put mine as change me because I'm going to change it okay and then once you have all that set double check to make sure this address is right and everything else looks right and then you want to go file save close it out and now when you double click on this it's going to run your server it should pop up a text box you're going to see a lot of red or not a lot of red a little bit a little bit of red a lot of yellow that's fine um, this process can take a while depending on your system how much processor power you have and ram and stuff so don't 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 worry keep letting it run uh, you'll get down to where it, it says a couple different times how long it took to run different data that doesn't necessarily mean it's done so just kind of wait it out um, it shouldn't take more than five minutes but um, you never know so just keep waiting on it like it's still going and you're good to go now you should whatever you named your server when you go to search for it when you load the game in Steam and you find your server you should be able to see it if it's not on the list like I said you haven't opened the ports correctly on your server um, so you need to go back in make sure the Windows ports are open because there's a Windows firewall on your machine make sure those are open and also in your router um, if you have any questions or any comments go to my website here matureminedgamers.com see a link to my discord right here click on that join my discord um, I have it I, I monitor it all the time so post your question in there and I'll try to help you the best I can uh, thanks for watching I hope this video helped you out have a great evening everybody